Welcome back to the channel, folks. I'm your host, Fog. Thank you for joining another episode here on Battle Gamers. And today, we're starting to get closer to the holidays, and it's like the 12 days of arcade cabinets. Not really. But we got a couple. So there's been an IR arcade sighting here in uh, Riverwood House, and we've got the new At Games Legends Mini that I really was excited about. I'm still kind of excited about it, but I, I was like, you know what? I know the perfect spot for it, and I will potentially share that in this video. If not, we'll do it in another video. Um, after you have like, you know, essentially the same thing, horizontal screen with the Legends Ultimate and, you know, the, the Legends Pinball, there's really not a reason, and the Gamer Pro and the Multicade and the Projector Cade I made and all that stuff. You know, there's really less reasons to have this. I think it's neat though. We'll cover the bases. We'll talk about the unit. And then obviously, as we always do here on this channel, we talk about like integrations with streaming. So from the Legends Link app to Steam, things like that, you know, what, what we can bring to the cabinet that is through another PC or, you know, other games that would be more modern, kind of the way that, you know, people tout the IA Arcade. I've shown it many a times on the At Games Legends Ultimate, but we'll show it on here as well and see what games really play on Steam well on this device since it can do the rotation from horizontal to vertical screen display. So let's dig into this. We're going to do, you know, another one of those quick, uh, quick video magic type moments where we just have the cabinet, but um, we'll get to this, check it out. And then we'll talk on the other side about all the features and capabilities. So stay tuned. All right, folks, we've got it built. It's the Legends Ultimate Mini in all its glory, right next to the Legends Pinball, funny enough. And, you know, I was surprised how close in height they are. It's actually, just with these little tips on the top, it's pretty much the exact same height as the Legends Pinball, which is kind of nice, and they go well together, so that's why, um, based upon my wife's suggestion, they're sitting next to each other. And I wasn't really going to put this one up here. This was actually going to be in my office kind of workshop area where I fix like old game cards and stuff like that. But um, ultimately it does look better up here and I like the versatility of having the machine in vertical. Although you could play all of them and I have it set up to do that here. For some reason it's just really nice to play them on this machine, the, the Ultimate Mini. Now the Legends Ultimate Arcade is sitting over there and I was shocked at how short this is compared to that even that has a five inch riser that i've put in under it but even beyond that it's actually a couple inches four or five inches below that i believe so i was just it's really a much shorter machine it's it's obviously a three quarters machine but in general it's a very nice machine i really like this now i have done an upgrade just right away i'd bought in one of those um legends uh, gamer minis with the core and the single player control deck for what was it 69 or 70 dollars from walmart a while back when everybody bought them so I, I just kept it boxed away kind of sitting there waiting for this so right away i swapped out the deck i don't have the six button controller here i actually have opted to have the two i'm essentially making this my dedicated kind of uh steam fighter slash platformer slash all the other games that I play on it. 
because of a couple factors, and we'll talk about it. You know, I'm bigger on Steam than most people are um, in terms of these home arcade units, and especially the At Games ones since they connect to it, and they do a really good job with the OTG and the Legends Link app. We'll talk about that a little bit more here towards the end, but I've kind of decided that right away. So when I build it, I just drop that Gamer Mini into here. So you wouldn't buy it this way. It doesn't come with the eight button layout here. It only comes with the six, but it does come with the pinball buttons, which is kind of nice. So I've already got those on there. Basically got the whole machine set up. We'll take a quick look at it really fast and talk about some of my favorite things. One thing that I would say right now is if this would have been available when I bought, when I was looking at the Legends Ultimate Arcade, I would have opted for this. Now, it's not to say anything negative about the Legends Ultimate Arcade. It's just to say that this, for me, nobody else plays these really. Um, the one buddy of mine, Kazi, he has been the only person that's really sat there and played with it. My family, they're not really into the, the arcade games. They do play the Legends Pinball, which I'm glad. And, you know, they will shoot some pinball here and there but in all reality this is kind of what I need right here and even if you were limited on space and I'm talking about a, we don't have a massive house we have about a 1500 square foot house for us you know I take up a whole wall of like video game stuff and that's kind of my wall in the house kind of thing but if I was even in a smaller apartment like a one bedroom or a studio and I really wanted to have something like this dedicated to video games because there is reasons for that that you might want to do that um i would i would definitely suggest this i think this thing is great in that aspect i probably if i had never ran into this or that i would be super happy with this because you get the ability to play the pinball games pretty much in the you know the 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 way they're designed you know vertically i like that um I like that you can swap the screen around. I have tested that out here and there. Works really well. You just flip it, you know, a couple screws. I mean, it takes about a minute or so, a minute and a half, something like that to unscrew everything, pull it off, flip it around, put them all back in. Um, it has all of the capabilities of the Ultimate Arcade in terms of, you know, you have your building games. There's 150 in here. You have your arcade net connection. You have lobby for your online. You have your BYOG, so that means add-on, add-on X. You have the Cloud, BY, OG, and the local streaming. We'll talk about those two. I want to do a whole segment, not a whole segment, but I do want to talk about Cloud, BY, OG in the future because I think um, putting some things in context, it might actually make more sense to toy around with that than, than you have probably heard people say. And then, of course, App Store X, you know, with Coin Ops and Pixelcade. I don't know what will happen in the future with the, the smaller... Um, bit pixel uh, display but we'll see you know obviously you can get other stuff there and then your settings so pretty much everything even in the vertical orientation is the same now with that you know you do get all of the same capabilities as we said but you also have like with coin ops x you can play it in either orientation because if you've ever played coin ops x on your alp you actually see a different look to coin ops x like um and I'm, I'm talking about uh, version 5 of uh, the Saucy Edition, version 5. It has, it has a, you know, a vertical design to it, so you can, or, or um, UI to it, so you can actually play on there. You get that when you're in vertical, and then when you flip it to horizontal, you get the Saucy, ver, you know, version 5 edition uh, horizontal menu, which is kind of more of that, you know that that wheel that rotates and you know the different um the different categories are much more uh you know they're much more visible in like what they're showcasing like you do get the same thing on here in the vertical mode but just a little bit more flash on the horizontal so let's take a little bit i'm going to move the camera a little bit we'll take a little bit more deeper look into this machine and just kind of talk about like everything that it does which okay folks so i am keeping this uh pretty much to the functionality of what comes in it and some of the you know we'll talk about coinx a little bit but i'm not going to go too much into coinx or coin ops x because you know a lot of people already know about that i have 128 gig drive there split up into 16 gigs for um the flash x 
uh, drive portion, and then the rest of it is available for, or for the, the tables and everything that you need to have, and then the rest of it is for CoinOpsX. So we will talk briefly about that, but we'll talk about Steam as well, and then we'll pretty much cover what's in here. So looking at the games that you've got in here, you've got 150, they've got a nice selection of vertically oriented games, as well as the horizontal games that you'd normally see. You know, the games that you get in here are pretty good quality. In terms of the shooters, I'm very happy with a lot of these. Um, if you go through and you look at some of the other games that are horizontal, like Earth Defense Force, this would have been on the ALU. These are really solid games. Now, what you're not getting in this one, as far as I can tell, are a lot of the Atari games, which is okay. And you can usually see that by just hitting the menu button, and then you scroll down and you see platforms or channels right in here. Those are your those are your companies. Channels are basically your developer or publishers. And then if we go down to platforms, you can see you have arcade, Genesis, other consoles. You got your Tato Volume One, Two, and then Zacario One, Two, Three, and Four because I bought that pack that came with those off of the um, National Owner Day sale in the summer, I think it was. So it didn't take too long for this. I thought I was going to get it in. 2022 but it actually shipped here right before the holidays and i must have got it like on the i'd say the 12th or something like that is when it showed up here at the house so you know looking at that you don't have the atari games but you do have the disney they kept a lot of the same side art um you do have games like fixed felix that look really good on here uh, it's not what they used to be in terms of that but i mean the game you know when you do the the fill everything like that because you can go in and you can adjust it to your fill mode, your perf pixel perfect mode, where it puts some art at the top and the bottom, your center, and then your fit. But fill mode looks great on here. Not every game looks great in fill. You know, obviously I've heard people talk about that, but this game looks fantastic with it and it plays very well. You know, these are great games that come on it for the price and everything. I know a lot of people probably could question that. Yes, they're not. They're not your Street Fighter, they're not your, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, but they are good games. They're fun games, they're games that a lot of people will just sit down and start playing. The one thing you're missing out from the ALP is obviously the haptics, that's not available, but there, I have heard there are some kits that work for the AOU, I'm sure that you could maybe find, or, or sorry, for the Gamer Pro. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if something was available for the Gamer Mini that could have some haptics too, as well. But, you know, when you're playing an arcade machine, you're definitely not worried about that so much. But in general, you have all the same capabilities as on the ALP in terms of, you know, how many people you want to be able to play, what time of day, night, the vertical orientation. You're missing out. You do have the DMD down here, but you're missing out on the, you know, the back glass. That's the one thing. Pulling back on the controller is your plunger and then your flippers you even have your nudge if you hit the bottom you can tilt it so you know having the orientation the vertical orientation for pinball is is really nice and that's why i said it, it definitely if this is all that you had room for i think you wouldn't be missing out on too much in terms of if you wanted to play some of the pinball games i actually before this was ever available the alp i played the pinball games on the ALU, the Ultimate Arcade, just fine. I was happy with that, loved it. When I heard that this was coming out, I was like, boy, that's you know, gotta be even better. But now being able to play it in, in the vertical orientation, I think this is a great deal. Um, you have the arcade net side, which we know, you know that there's a lot of free uh, passes to game or arcade net. They wanna get people on there. They wanna get people to try it out. It's an okay service. I have had decent fun with it but you know obviously with the ability to put coin ops x in this or use coin ops x and, and apply the the mass amount of games you can put there it kind of wipes out arcade net so we will jump out of arcade net lobby you know where you can play others online this is i think something where if you're somebody that goes out and, and has like a, a a group of players that you can meet up with would make sense. You know, if you don't, it's a lot of zeros in here, right? There's a lot of nobody's ever available to play. Um, you know, you really have to find groups that can definitely play together for this and, and really get something out of it. But it's there and it's an opportunity to to grow. You know, it's a, it's something that they can continue to push 
as a as a part of the ecosystem and, and see if they can get growth on it. If we go up to BYOG, this is where you can do the add-on X. I've got a couple different ones. I've got, you know, obviously more console type stuff on this drive. And I have a 128 gig, as I said, in there for more of the coin ops X side. So you can access those if you go into add-on X right now. That's going to pull whatever you've got in that little USB and be able to find games that you want to play on here. I am going to bypass that. Oh, let's come back to that. And then you also have the Cloud BYOG, which again, we could get a little bit deeper into in a separate video. So that's even if you don't have a PC in your house that can run Steam or something like that, and you can connect via the Legends Link app. When you do have that, like here, you can use the local streaming option where you use that Legends Link app as the connection it'll allow you to connect to that PC, whether it's a laptop or desktop or whatever you have, and then be able to go in and access any game that's on there. Now, the trick about the, the resolution or the, 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 the positioning or the, the way that you, the orientation that you have the screen. If you're here in vertical and you're running through the Legends Link app, it will still try to show you the horizontal version right up front. But if we go into any game, like say we know there's a game, Zero Rangers, or Zero Ranger, and we go into this, it's going to say, okay, we're gonna play horizontal. So it have it, we'll have it in the wrong orientation at first. The one thing you can do is just go into the game and then exit out of it. And this would be any game um, potentially that you could do this with that would have a vertical orientation option. We'll go ahead and exit out. You can see now we're in horizontal mode on the screen. If we launch it again, it's going to auto detect which way it should be and it'll play correctly. So now, although you get notifications on the left hand side, now you're in your vertical position or your horizontal mode. And the, the screen looks great for this. I mean, you can play so many games on Steam that have this, not counting the ones that are in CoinOps X or the ones that come on the game, right? You can play modern games that have the ability to take advantage of this screen, which looks phenomenal. It looks great on the ALP as well. So either way, fantastic game. Let's take a look at, um, you know, Galaga. Galaga looks great on this. And that's a pretty simple thing, but I mean, Galaga is its own machine on, on Arcade 1UP. So you've got Galaga on here via the CoinOps X, and it takes very little time to get this started up. I think, you know, overall, I let it run last night in terms of transferring and then doing the, because you have to run the add-on X tool, it took another 40 minutes, maybe, something like that. So you can see it's not taking up the full screen, but you have some borders at the top and the bottom. If you go in, you go down to display mode, you go to fill, you get the full screen. It looks really nice. Yes, it's probably not the exact proportions of the arcade machine, but um, it looks really, really nice. And you just have tons to be able to play. We'll play it for a second here. And there's a couple different versions. I think there's the fast shoot uh, version on CoinOps X as well, or at least the, the Fans of Sauce version uh, 5 has both versions on it. But yeah, I mean, playing in vertical positioning looks really good. <laughs> And yeah, that, I mean, that basically covers it. We've went through majority of what the machine has to offer. We will go ahead and rotate the screen out and I'll do that in a separate video so you can see it in a sped up version. So hang tight and we'll do the rotation. We'll speed it up and you can check out how that looks. And then I think we'll do final thoughts. As you can see, it's done. It takes probably, like I said, about a minute, minute and a half to do the rotation. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do this over and over again. Um, you know, switching between games, you could. I'm just curious. I'm glad that they did the thumb screws. Uh, makes it so much easier. But I'm curious how long you could do that without like stripping something or, you know, this getting, this shouldn't get cracked. I wouldn't think so, but like it definitely gets scratched when you're screwing it in. 
So, you know, how long it's going to last kind of doing that swap back and forth could last forever. I don't know. But, you know, getting into horizontal mode, now you have completely different um, look and feel for each of the games. Uh, you have more of your appropriate um, orientation for your landscape games or your, or your standard monitor games or widescreen. You can even see, we'll just do Donald Duck as an example. But, um, you know, you're going to get the borders on the left and the right like you do on the uh, Ultimate Arcade, which looks just fine. If you want, you could fill it, you know, make it completely full or expand your um, screen. Uh, any of those options are available like they are on the Legends Ultimate. So you can do fit, you can do fill where it takes up the whole screen or you can do your pixel perfect. You know, probably fit is my favorite. I wish you could default that to majority of these, but yeah, the game looks really good and looks as good as it does on the Legends Ultimate. So. In terms of Steam, you know, since we've already had it connected, we can just go back We'll go into our local streaming. We'll just connect up. Now, I can't remember, I think the game was still running, so we'll see what happens here. It's probably gonna be, yeah. See, it's still in vertical mode for Space Moth, but we'll go ahead and exit. And now it's like, okay, hey, we're back to the right positioning. This is in landscape. We'll go ahead and back out, and we'll pick just a game that, you know, would be uh, landscape mode again you can change your quality level right now I have it on auto if I had it connected via Ethernet it would be much better on auto but I put it on high uh, we have a 5 gigahertz network here and it's again it's playing wirelessly over that and on high it looks great so we'll launch uh, Hades which was a uh, game of the year last year I believe and or at least on Steam I know that on Steam Awards but I believe it was game of the year in 2020 or did get an award at, at one of those but yeah in in hades you can play it uh with just a directional d-pad and you know the proper button layout and you can see it looks great and you have hades you know to be able to play if you go and buy that on sale you right like these are the benefit of having steam and being able to connect to that is just fantastic so yeah we've got hades we can play on here if we go into coin ops x again we can launch that and we get a whole you know this is nothing really new for anybody that has messed around with it but you get a whole ui experience uh that's different from the vertical orientation when you're in the horizontal orientation you get this like video starts up which you can skip and then you've got more of the care the the i don't know if they call it a carousel or a radial menu system for choosing your games you've got this like up and down it's like the wheel of remember the price is right the big wheel they would spend it's kind of like that but you can see you know all your games are available there running off of your little usb card right here looks great um, you know they do a great job handling the orientation change as well so pretty happy with that so that's you know that's the machine it's got all the same uh, abilities as most of the other devices all of the ecosystem is the same but for the price I think for what you get with it, it's it's a fantastic deal. And it's it's uh, the only better deal, in my opinion, in terms of the multi-cade scene, is if you don't want the cabinet at all, just go buy the Legends Core or the Legends Gamer Mini in the core or the Gamer Pro in the core, you know, for $125 or something like that on eBay. And um, you've got all of this ecosystem and all of the connectivity and everything that you'd, that you'd ever need. So. That's it. I like it. Fettle Gamers is giving this a good thumbs up. It's a great little product. And I think that um, if I had it over to do it again, I would definitely buy this over the ALU. The ALP, I really like that. I, I do, and I tinker around with this thing and I do so much stuff to it. Um, I'm, I'm happy I have this. I would still buy this. But if I wanted like a little three quarter cab to have in the house, I would buy this one. So. And if you don't check out any more before the holidays, have a happy holiday. We wish you all the best. And we wish you a great end to 2021, a great beginning to 2022. And we thank everybody for watching. As always, you know, for the Infinity Game table stuff that we do, we enjoy all the comments on there and getting people feed, getting people's feedback. Um, we're going to be doing more indie game um, 
reviews that that play well on an IR on the um, the Legends ecosystem, you know, that use the the um, Legends Link app. Any of those, we're going to talk about more indie games that play on there. We'll be doing reviews for those. Lots of stuff coming up in 2022. And again, if you haven't already, subscribe. Definitely give us a follow if you're not watching on, on YouTube and you're watching somewhere else where we post these videos. And come back. Check out more on the channel. We hope to even give more content to you here in 2022. And we also hope that you leave the comments. Let us know what you think. If there's something not right about these games or products and you want it to be heard, we're already seeing developers checking out the um, comment section for the Infinity Game Table games. So please leave the comments here. Let people know because they are checking out these videos. They check out everybody's videos. I'm sure I would if I was a developer. I would want to know if people are covering my stuff, what they thought about it. So definitely if, if you're watching somebody else and they're doing the same type of game, leave comments there. You know, let those developers know. Let them know if they're doing a great job or if there's something wrong with their game because both um, positive and negative feedback can be constructive, right, in that sense. So if you haven't already, hit the like on this video as well. Disliking does really nothing anything anymore for anybody. Um, if, if you dislike something, leave it in the comments. But like the video so more people get visibility on it. But we do appreciate you watching this one. And again, great little device. I don't know. I like it. So... Thanks again, folks. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.